Rain or shine, including days this winter below freezing, the Sage Clan delivered warm meals to the homeless. From Galt Gardens to nearby gas stations and the public library, the group delivers hand warmers and blankets. One integral part of their work is wellness checks. And they need that safety, that connection with somebody to check on them, to say, hello, how are you doing? How are you feeling? You know, be safe, you know, and just to make, you know, just for them to see that somebody cares. Just a simple conversation or just hanging out, having a smoke with them, you know, they open up to you and that's really important for their mental wellness. Just learn about people and their stories and their personalities. Uh, there's some hilarious characters out there. Uh, keeps us laughing, keeps us smiling. Last year saw a record number of overdose deaths in Lethbridge. In some cases, the Sage Clan arrives on scene before the first responders. The Blood Tribe Wellness Society recently provided updated training for when volunteers arrive at an emergency situation. Those seconds matter. The lack of oxygen to the brain really matters, right? So a lot of times we have nasal sprays, which is our first when we do, and then we have the naloxone kits, which are the needles. I'm glad that we're there for them, you know, because like without, you never know, you know, they can like die. The nonprofit anticipates with warmer weather, they will see an increased number of homeless people downtown. Men and women who they call friends. Like everyone else, they, everyone that I know of in this world has struggled or is struggling in their lives. And really, that's no different than anyone else. For Bridge City News, I'm Ainsley O'Reilly.